Well, hello everybody. I found my purple clips. They were in my second sketchbook. And like, I have more, but I love purple. So here's the second sketchbook. It has a beautiful uh, pattern, a wave pattern with all ditzy Asian tiny ornamental patterns. I just fell in love with it. Okay, here's the second book. This book has been pretty much florals, loose florals, and uh, inspired by Matisse. And I'm sorry to plug her again, but Chrissy Rice had, if you don't know what to paint, look to the masters. And that's what I did after I watched her tutorial. And it inspired me. I thank her greatly because she made me who I am. And I finally found one style that I really enjoy and I never was able to master. Okay, enough being said, here are some uh, Matisse style in vases. Here is Matisse goldfish, two different styles. Okay, I said it was all florals, I lied. Let's see, what do we got next? Come on. These florals are bizarre, but I kind of like them. And then I just had a little dark period over the weekend, not Thanksgiving, but the day before. And you can definitely see it in the style of painting. Here I was really dark, not feeling well. And then uh, this came up, and again, it's because I see roses out my window against the brick wall. I live close to uh, buildings here in Queens, apartment houses, so uh, that's where that came from. I did put a little metallic to make it happy. And uh, here I was coming out of the darkness. I put some iridescence, metallic, whatever you want to call it, pearlescent. Then I got happy again. And I really love green and orange. I'm, I'm loving orange. Like, look at this orange. It's so bright and fun. Okay, then I went back to the florals. And I really like this uh, cluster of flowers. How it has the purple, the blue, and this flower. I incorporated some yellow. And then the brown centers, it just is beautiful. And then I did sunflowers. My neighbor always has them grow. And I used some fluorescent yellow to make it pop. And you can really see. The sky came out beautifully too. This paper is just 100% cotton. It's just nice and thick. And I just love painting on it. That's why I bought another one. And I think two more are coming. They were like so cheap. Less than $5. And this is the last one I did with the new palette of the Kimura Kabi paints which are lovely here let me show you them again i think there's how many 20 24 colors mozart and this is the color palette they're great i was a little reluctant because it was mostly primaries but as you can see you would never tell and here we are but i'm going to go back to my other book which i started but like i said left the last page empty not by purpose, but maybe it was by purpose. Because this page back here has a little pocket. Like you put, I don't know what you want to put in there. Maybe some some money. I don't know. But it's quite large. I don't know what, swatches? Who knows? There's a little fly, fruit flying here. I don't know how it got here, but there's no fruit. Okay, so let's get this big pad away. And now we're going to have this little pad of paper, which is smaller than my hand. And we're going to, of course, have our water. We're going to spray our colors down so they get nice and wet and creamy. And then, let's see. I'm on a watercolor flower binge. So let's try a new color. Let's try the Charisse. Okay, we're going to just dip our water, pink brush in the water. Sorry about that. I need more coffee, even though it's the afternoon. Thanksgiving took a lot out of me. Cooking for two is just as bad as cooking for ten, I think. But it was fun, and we ate deliciously. And there's some leftovers, but I don't want turkey today. Okay, here's a single rose in the Charisse color. And then I maybe will make a little side rose here. Because this pad is small, I don't want to work too large. Okay, then we'll take some nice... What blue is this? Azure blue. Again, I like. And I'm going to make some little flowers up here. A little cluster maybe a little more in the water in the color and look at that vibrancy Oof, it's wonderful okay then we're going to use my lovely orange that i keep talking about and we're going to make some droopy tulips shall we call them droopy tulips okay 
Then, last but not least, we'll add a rosebud at the top overall color. We'll put up here. Okay, so that's the beginning of our floral. Now we're going to have the real big fun, connecting everything together. I'm using olive green and forest green mixture. And I really like it because it gives a more natural green as opposed to a green directly from the palette. So here I am adding the green, going on the bud, adding leaves in the rose. And then up here, I'm just going to add some wispy greens because it's like a wispy, wisteria type of thing. I don't know. And then here we'll do some more wispy, wispiness. We need to add green leaves for the orange flowers, which those will be a little longer because you know how tulips grow. And then let's see, what is it missing? I think it's missing a background. So I'm really into the backgrounds lately. So I'm wetting the paper, even though all my flowers are pretty much wet. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. We're going to dip into the turquoise, pure turquoise. And whoa, look at the color just bleed all over the place. I love it. It's just so nice and bright. And we got the purple and the Charisse color, which I think is like magenta, but they call it a different name. And then you can go in with the point of your brush and just get some of that turquoise in there. And it just looks fabulous. Oh, there's a little more turquoise in here. And then for the other side of the painting, we're going to do something different and add another color. Well, it looks like we're adding orange. I was going to put yellow, but change of plans. But maybe we can move down our clip. And I hold that to the other paper so it doesn't buckle. Because this is not a paper book that is uh, bound. It has free standing pages, as you can see before. And now I'm going to add a little bit of brilliant yellow now you know what this is when I wish I had a clean bucket of water but it's okay and then just bring in this yellow and let it mix with the green and you'll get a nice apple green up here just with the yellow again clean your brush add some brilliant yellow and you'll see and in between add the little bits of yellow not in the flower well, you could by accident and it just is beautiful I'll bring some over here so we'll get more of that apple green coming through. I love it down here. And I promise to add the yellow down here. So I don't want to go away on my promise. And I added the yellow and a little more yellow. Seems like we're losing our blue flowers, but I will add more into them. This is the flower, so we don't want any green in there. And we can bring some blue down here. And it's starting to buckle, as you can see. Let me try to clip it with my little... These little clips are, like, so cute. I don't know where I got them, who gave them to me. But I really, I love them. They're just big enough for what you need to do. All right, I'm going to get back to this painting. I'm trying to let it dry a little. I'm not one of those artists who believe in the hair dryer, the hot blower, whatever you want to call it. I used to have one for stationery. I got rid of it, and I really don't miss it. I am... A true regular artist who just enjoys to paint, takes their time, and I don't know, part of painting is waiting for the watercolor to dry, see how it looks naturally. Here I'm adding some red to my tulips, giving it to the edges. A little too much red, but like I said, you can always take away. You can always take away. And what you wet the brush, even if it's dirty. Look. Okay. Now, the last thing I was going to do is add a little bit more green. Oh, no. I wanted blue. Blue up here. I got two yellow. I'm going to do in there. A little in here. And I know this is going to bleed like crazy. But I kind of wanted to. Okay. And while that's drying naturally, we're going to just take a little break, get some clean water, and maybe do another painting. Bye-bye.